so as to keep us alive, as is now the case. If we diligently observe this entire commandment, we will be in the right. The story sounds similar, but it's a little vague. Who is it that's doing these signs and wonders? Who is it that's issuing these decrees or these commandments? And why are they doing that? When we name God in conversation, when we talk about God, when we explain different stories in our lives, it makes God the active agent in our lives. It's not just us that's acting. It's not just fate that, that, we're, uh, that, that our lives are, are governed by. It's God and God's actions and God's spirit in our lives. There's one more slide of, of this same story back to the original way with all of the places that God is named, that the Lord is named as the active agent in the story of the Israelites being brought out from slavery in Egypt. Let me give you one more example of the way that it makes a difference to use God's name in care and conversation. Here at Peace in our confirmation program, uh, Wednesday nights, our students have some time in small groups, small peer groups, and these small peer groups are led by parents or, uh, or other guides or small group leaders. And they spend time in those small groups talking about highs and lows of their week. The small group leader will often ask the confirmation students, what was your high of the week? What was your low point of the week? Sometimes I suggest to confirmation small group leaders that they try asking those questions in a slightly different way. Instead of asking, what was your high of the week, try asking this question. How has God been present or active in your life this week? And instead of asking, what was your low of the week, try asking the question this way. Where or when have you sensed God to be absent in your life this week? Or Pastor Paul just suggested to me after the last service, uh, ask, asking the question even in a slightly different way, uh, where or when did you forget, how did you say this? Uh, how did you forget that God was present? When did you forget that God was present in your life this week? That's another really good way of asking the question. Do you see how asking the question in a slightly different way changes the way we answer the question? It's not just us now who's the subject of the answer, but God is the subject, too. What's God doing in my life? What's God doing in my circumstances? So I think we have just a, a little time. I'd like us to actually practice doing this. I know this is a, these are a little harder questions than what game would you play with Jesus, but important questions, too. So take a minute, turn to a neighbor, and ask those questions. How has God been present or active in your life this week? And where or when have you sensed God to be absent in your life? Go ahead, take a couple minutes to do that. Good conversation. I know these are tough questions, and it gets better as we practice more and more talking about God, naming God in our lives. I hope that this week 
You'll take time to practice having caring conversations, and then you'll also spend some time observing people in caring conversations. Maybe go out to a coffee shop or a restaurant and watch these conversations that are happening around you. Hopefully you'll make caring conversations a habit in your lives. Uh, maybe you'll pick up some extra tools, those faith talk cards, or something else that will help launch you into caring conversations. I guarantee that you will be blessed by these conversations. Your neighbor will be blessed, and God will be blessed too. Amen.